So today we're going old school. We're going to focus on one product and what it can do for you and effectively is this something you need in your detail in Arsenal. Iron and fallout remover by ultimate finish. This is an in-house developed iron and fallout remover. Let's test it out. White car and some dirty wheels. Let's see what we can do. First off, um, if you haven't checked out the big boy pressure washer video, I'll ping a link up in the corner now. So once you're done with this, you can go and watch that. Kill a little jet wash. Um, discount code Joe10. You get yourself some money off that. Back to the video. So let's talk about this. Um, how am I going to demonstrate this for you to see you really gain an understanding? First off, we're going to look at the formulation of it. We're going to do that by spraying it directly onto a dirty wheel that hasn't been cleaned in about a month and a half. Daily driven car. You've seen this on my channel before this car. Um, what are we going to see here? I've not jet washed anything off, but you can instantly see that this is a quick color change and formulation. And what does that mean? That means this product's actually working. The way these products are developed and the way they change color means you're getting a reaction. If you're getting a reaction, you're dissolving particles. What do I mean by particles? We're talking brake dust, iron fallout, strong, heavy metal particles that kick up from when you brake on your car and they attach themselves into the hot wheel. And when that wheel cools down, they embed and you slowly get that brown and black pitting on your wheels. This instantly alleviates that. I mean, this was sprayed onto the wheel, is allowed to dwell for three to four minutes, and then it was rinsed off. You can see how bright silver this wheel's come back now. Um, it's absolutely perfect. It's, it's nice. It's, it's one of them products that just does what it says on the tin, and that's what you want. Don't want something too fancy that's going to promise you the world. It just does its job and it does its job well. Now you can see that that wheel has come back clean effortlessly. Now that's not how I recommend to clean a wheel, but that just shows how quickly and easily this product actually cleans. And there you have it. A nice clean wheel. There was a few little tar deposits on the wheel, but that's not, that's not going to tackle that. How do I actually clean a wheel? As always, rinse off the heavy deposits first, come back, spray it, let it dwell, and you can start to see in the corners it's changing colours. Once you're done, grab your wheel cleaning tools. Nuts a tickle, we, we love doing that on this channel. Um, I've got a little lamb's wheel finger mitt that allows me to do the spokes behind the spokes, and then a wheel brush to do back of the wheel. Again, thoroughly clean and really nice job. Once the wheels are clean, a little spray with the ultimate finish, um, ultimate spray sealant, that wheel is now protected. Idea being, I won't have to use the fallout remover again. You don't want to use this every week on your wheels. This is a deep clean. Once you've deep cleaned them and you sprayed them with the spray sealant, you can just use the safe wheel cleaner to do maintenance washes. Treat this as a deep cleaning wheel cleaner. But it doesn't stop there. What you've got to think about is this isn't just a wheel cleaner. These fallout removers are designed to be used on bodywork too. So once the wheels were done, with the big boy out and some ultimate snow foam loaded up into the cannon, the car was given a good thorough wash down. The thing about this car is it's white. It's got a good set of brakes on the front, so it kicks up loads of brake dust. Um, and the driver drives near train stations and parks not too far away from a train station so this car is absolutely perfect because if you look at a white car there's loads of little rusty spots on it and little bits of contamination that don't come off too easy with a clay bar that's iron fallout now like i say that can be from industrial fallout or it can be from brake dust you tend to find it behind the wheels and on the seals or on the flat upper panels where the dust slowly sits down quite common on new cars if they're transported as well now why do you do this on your bodywork do this before your tar and glue remover and your clay bar this way you're removing any sharp particles that are embedded in the paint and you're not going to sit there and scrub them with your clay bar now the interesting thing about this formulation is it's safe for all painted or lacquer surfaces wheels and paintworks 
and right there you can see those little particles that are bleeding out on this paintwork again fast acting so you can physically see this is working um, the thing I like about this is it's pH balance so if you've got a coated car and it's starting to feel a little bit crunchy but you don't want to polish on that just give it a chemical decontamination a bit of this and a bit of tar remover you're away and a little top tip on this product if you're working in the sun and you're going to find out it's going to dry grab the big boy pressure washer stand back and just dust the car don't rinse it dust it a little bit of light dusting with water activates the product again and ensures it doesn't dry out the longer this product is on the panel the longer it's working the more it's dissolving the cleaner it's making your paint your wheels making it safe to clay bar all of these little things one of them things in the summer it's a killer little trick that you just want to use but ultimately you want to leave this on your paint sort of five to ten minutes when are you going to be doing this realistically spring before summer or autumn going into winter when you're doing your big decons once you've left it to dwell for a sufficient period of time and it's really changed color and you can see that it's dissolving them ball out particles give it a thorough rinse interesting thing about this is it's designed with more of a gel like consistency it's a thicker consistency what does that give you it's extra cling time now that's great because it means the product works for longer but what you've also got to remember is you want to thoroughly thoroughly rinse this out so take with your time with a pressure washer get into all those little nooks and crannies and just ensure that that iron fallout remover is thoroughly rinsed from all the surfaces once you've done that what would you be doing you'd be looking at going over the lower areas with some tar remover and then you're safe to clay bar by doing this it makes your clay barring process a lot safer and you're less likely to mar the paint so there you have it a simple product but an effective one and probably one people only use for wheel cleaning but bear this in mind for the next time you decontaminate your bodywork it's a really truly great product as i said before code joe 10 um, grab yourself a bit of a discount on this product make your paint work that good um, head over to my instagram page subscribe to the youtube channel like it comment it share it and i'll see you on the next one for more detail and fun cheers